For more, we are joined by TMZ's Harvey Levin. Harvey, what is your reaction to this, and can you sort of break down what's happening legally here? Yeah, I mean, I call this justice. This was a BS prosecution from the get-go. And honestly, I mean, I, I have rarely said anything like this, but I feel like these prosecutors just wanted to get a celebrity. And that's why they went after Alec Baldwin. And they blinked. And they blinked because this trial was less than two weeks away, and they were going to get creamed in court. And I say that for two reasons. One is that they are saying that Alec Baldwin somehow um, is responsible for the death of Helena Hutchins for not checking that gun. Yet they are also charging the armorer with the same thing. The armorer is the expert. And if they're saying it was reckless for the armorer not to do it, how do you say that an actor who's not trained in guns has to double check her work? That makes no sense. The second thing is they're saying, well, he's an executive producer on the, on the movie. Well, they don't understand what an executive producer is. There are executive producers who work day to day on safety, on filming. That's not what he did. This is essentially a vanity title and gives him back-end profits. But he's not responsible for any of that stuff. He wasn't really involved in it. So it never made sense to charge him. And my antenna went up when they first filed the charges because they used a law to charge him that would have created significant prison time, a law that wasn't even in effect when the shooting occurred. And you're not allowed to do that based on the United States Constitution. It's really basic stuff in the law. And the fact that they did that always made me think they just wanted to get a celebrity. So, you know, this whole thing has not been great for Alec Baldwin's career. Uh, he's really been dragged through this. Um, where does he go from this? And, and, and Rust is coming back? Yeah, I mean, look, I think this is a victory for Alec Baldwin that, you know, he did settle the civil case um, and that makes sense. But in terms of a criminal case, the fact that the D.A. folded like a cheap suit here uh, to me um, vindicates Alec Baldwin. And now that they're doing the movie and finishing it with the help of Helena Hutchins husband, her, her, his, her widower, um, I think in the end, this is not going to impact Alec Baldwin's career. I don't think it will. Really? No, no sort of yeah. lingering anything? Well, Alec, what did he, Alex, what did he do? What well, did I he know, do? But, well, but, that, but the, you're assuming that people that first uh, read the headline then read the correction, right? I mean, isn't that the problem, that his name has been associated with this for so long that now people may not see, see all this? Yeah, I mean, I get your point. And maybe to some extent that's true. But again, he's being hired by Hollywood, not people who buy tickets. Yeah. And, you know, he's had a long enough career with enough hits that, uh, you know, I just don't think this defines him. It was a big deal, obviously. It was a tragedy. But ultimately, you know, I, I just look, I, you know, we cover so many of these cases over the years. And what I've always said is you can't take a snapshot of somebody at their worst moment and say that's going to define them for the rest of their lives. That almost never happens. And when it happens, it's a very extreme situation. I just don't think this is. I just don't think this is. And sometimes when somebody's vindicated in court, it ends up being good for their career. Look at Johnny Depp, right? I mean, sometimes it, it works out for somebody in their favor. So who knows? Uh, and, 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 if, and, and by the way, that's a really good point, that Johnny Depp went through a trial. The fact that the DA folded before the trial started in a way.